Hello everyone. On this video, you will learn how to download an image using ASP.NET Web API using Visual Studio 2022. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go through the process on what we need to do in order to be for you to be able to download an image. So the steps are going to be, we're going to create a project. We're going to add an image to our content folders in our project. We're going to create a new controller, add code to download image and run some tests. Let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is open up Visual Studio 2022. We're going to create a new project and we're gonna look for ASP.NET Web Application.NET Framework. So just type it up here, ASP.NET Web Application, and it's gonna be .NET Framework. Let's go ahead and click Next. Download Image Test API. Go ahead and Create. For this example, we're gonna be doing Web API. Let's go ahead and click Create. Give it a second. Once your project is created, let's go ahead and run it just to make sure we don't have any issues. So yeah, there you go. So our project, it's up and running. Our right, first thing we're gonna do on the content folder, we are going to add an image. I already have a default image. I'm just gonna click add existing. I'm gonna go to my desktop, my desktop folder, new folder, and it's just gonna be a default image. This image is basically just a, uh, as you guys can see on the right side, this image is just based uh, an icon of an out of a mail, of a letter. Next thing we're gonna do is create a new controller, add the new controller. So right click on your controller folders, add, select add and click controller. Double click on MVC5 controller empty and just name the controller file controller and go ahead and click add. All right, now that we have the file controller, on the controller, when, when you see this controller attribute, just do API, API controller, hover on top of it, and there's gonna be some suggestions. You may, make sure you pick using system.web.http. Go ahead and delete this. We're gonna create a, a new function. HTTP response message. And a get, it's just gonna be a get for now. So if this is, it's if you see this quick line, I'm gonna go ahead and hover it. Make sure you're using system.net.http. First thing we're gonna do is grab our base image. Now hover image. And then make sure you're using system.drawing equals image.from file, we're going to pull the image from this content folder here. In order to do that, we need to do a string default image equals posting environment dot map hat, and we're going to put the path here. It's just, just Let's make sure we do this over it using system.web.hosting. I'm going to grab the path from another location here. And this is going to be our default path. So basically, this is going to grab this image right here. Let's make this a little big in case for you guys to see a little better. So this is going to grab this image, the default.png image from the content folder in my project. And so after I create the base image here, let's go ahead and pass in the image path. And next thing we're gonna do is using, and it's gonna be var memory image equals new memory stream. Hold on, memory stream. Make sure you guys use memory stream over it and it's going to be using system.io. Now base image, which is this image here, we want to save the image as a memory memory image with image format. If you don't see it, go ahead and hover it and make sure it's drawing okay. All right, next item is it's byte. There we go. We're gonna create an array of the image contents. We're gonna instantiate another memory stream. 
with the image data. This we're going to call this image data. There we go. Now we're going to create our, our HTTP response message here. So basically we're going to do HTTP response response equals new oops. and it's going to be http status code dot okay now response dot content it's going to be new stream content and we're going to pass in our memory stream which is this once you pass in the memory stream, we're going to do response.content.headers. Content type, it's going to be new dot, there you go, new dot media, media type header value. And now we're going to pass in the type, which is going to be an image slash PNG. PNG, it's extension of our file. And then we're just going to return the response. All right, that's pretty straightforward here. I will post a link for the code below. All right, let's go ahead and run it. So because I'm using API controller on our URL here, make sure you do our your base URL slash API slash file, oops, slash file. Because we're just using a get, we don't have to put the get here and go ahead and hit enter. So it, it, it did hit that breakpoint. Let's make sure it runs through everything. All right, so it looks it looks good. And let's see what's the result. And there it is, that's our image. So it's pretty straightforward. All you, all you need really, it's the path of your image. It's the path of your image. You gotta create an image based on your image. You gotta grab the bytes of your image, set into an array, and then add those bytes into a memory stream and then create the response message, set the content and get the response. Now, I know a lot of times I've seen this here and there where we want the response, the, instead of having the image, we want the base 64 string of the image. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. A way to do that is just comment this out. We don't need this right now. It's also using, we're gonna do, we're gonna start using and it's gonna var memory stream equals new memory stream. Now we have a base image here. Let's we're gonna reuse that base image dot save. We're gonna it's basically the same code as here. Same code as here. Set a memory image is gonna be memory stream here, and we're gonna return. It's gonna return a request. Return response message, HTTP status code dot okay, comma, and we're gonna do a array. There we go. Let's make sure everything is on a, on a try place here. That's not it, it's request dot create response. There we go, this is what this is. There we go. All right, so what this is gonna return is basically the array of like the image. So it's not gonna return the image itself. And a lot of applications I've seen where people are looking for the array, the bit array, the buffer array of the image. Let's go ahead and run it. You see, you're not gonna actually see the image when we run this. File, oops, API. There we go. This is right here. It's the array of the image. So this is, you can, you can use this with the base 64 encoding to display an image to your website. Thanks very much, guys.